Morph can be a useful tool to highlight content in a much more interesting and dynamic way than usual. For example, here's a set of three simple elements. But by using Morph, you can expand each element and bring in more detail. It's achieved using a combination of techniques. The text moves ever so slightly, partly because it makes everything feel a bit more dynamic, but also to emphasise the change that's happening. So the text moves up or down depending upon the position of the highlight image. The white outline box gets larger, again all achieved with Morph, simply by making the box larger on the second slide. In this instance, the red and blue boxes grow upwards, while the green box grows downwards, just for the look of it. But the main change is that an image appears within the space created by the growing white boxes. If you look at the edit mode of the slide, you can see these images are off slide initially, and then move down into the correct positions on the second slide. But you don't see them moving from the edge of the slide as you would expect. Instead, they move under a masking layer, which uses the background texture picture as a small mask just above or below the white outline box, which is then cropped down on the second slide. As the mask layer image gets smaller from slide 1 to 2, the detail image moves from the edge of the slide to the middle underneath the mask layer, creating a rather pleasing effect of the detail image coming into view. That's a nice way to achieve a detail reveal, but you could also split this effect up over several slides to focus on one element at a time, or, dare I say it, highlight elements on an agenda. This time, the starting slide is the same, with all three elements in their overview state, so no detail showing. But on the second slide, only the red content changes, giving focus to that element and bringing in the detail image under the mask. On the third slide, the red elements revert back to the overview state while the green detail elements are revealed. And then the same idea on the fourth slide to hide the green content and reveal the blue details. Thinking about how to split content up over several slides can result in some lovely effects to move through content, either pacing the flow of information or focusing on what's important on any particular area. The slide count in your presentation will balloon, but that really shouldn't matter as the time taken to present the information will be exactly the same, but you'll likely get a much better response from your audience.